Hey everyone, JJB here, bringing you guys another VGC18 Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle Spot video. Um, as you can see from the screen here, we've made one slight change to the team since the last upload. Um, I've ditched my low tick and I've subbed it in with a T-Tar instead. Um, the plan for this is basically just for some weather control, and also my low tick's not really the best, and T-Tar, uh, you know, for some more coverage. Um, we've got Finny for the water types, um, so I figured we'd just add T-Tar and see how we go. Um, so unfortunately the last episode, um, spoilers for that, but we did lose two in a row. Um, which has dropped our rating down from what I think was 1600, um, just above. Uh, back down into the sort of upper ends of the 1500s. Um, it's a bit unfortunate really, but, you know, it's, you know, what can we do? Um, those charms from the last game. Charm, uh, Meowstick and Charm Raichu really screwed us. Um... I think my capture card is a little bit flickery um, on the bottom screen. That seems to be jumping around a little bit. Um, I don't know how that's going to come up when I you know, actually process the video, so if it is a little bit um, sort of dodgy, uh, apologies for that, but I'm not too sure what to do. Um, it's taken us some time to find an opponent as well. Hopefully we can find one fairly soon. Um, but yeah, if you didn't see the last up, uh, if you didn't see the last episodes or anything, um, the team we're using is Zapdos, Landorus, Finny, Kangaskhan, uh, Kangaskhan Mega, um, Tyranitar, and Kartana. Um, it's a fairly standard team, really. There's nothing, you know, particularly niche or anything there. Um, they're all, you know, general mons that you see in the ladder. Um, and we do find ourselves an opponent from Florida with a rating just below the 1500s, and a team of Latias, Tapufini, Kartana, Aegislash, Excadrill, and Tyranitar. Um, so it's a sound team, obviously we've got our Tyranitar as well. Um, our opponent benefits from it a little bit more though, with, uh, you know, well, four mons immune to the sand. Um, obviously the Tyranitar, the Excadrill, the Kartana, and the Aegislash. Um, and obviously the Excadrill gets a speed boost from the sand as well. So that's something to be aware of. Um, if he does want to lead with his, you know, Excadrill Tyranitar, then I guess our best bet would be to lead with our Finny. Um, and Finny does decent work to the rest of his team. It doesn't really, you know, it gets threatened out by the Kartana, it doesn't do too much to the Aegislash. Um, but I think we're going to lead with Finny. I want to bring Kangaskhan. I like Landorus. Um, Landorus, you know, super effective earthquakes against the Excadrill, the Tyranitar, and the um, Aegislash. So that's looking really good. It's got the Flyonium Z as well to smack the Finny or the Latias, um, or even the Kartana pretty hard. Um, and then I'm thinking I bring my Kartana in the back just to smack the Finny, the Tyranitar. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, so hopefully we can find ourselves a win in this first battle. Up against George64. I don't think that's how you spell George. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how we get on. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these, actually. I think there was an episode on Friday which went up, but that was recorded quite a bit earlier on in the week. So it's been a while since I've really sat down and played. Um, just trying to get my excuses in now for if I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> Um, and we see our opponent leads with Kartana and Latias, and we obviously come out with our Finny and Kangaskhan. So we get our terrain up, which is always nice. Um, and we get some fake out pressure now, so it's just a case of what, you know, who we want to fake out. Um, and I think we want to fake out the Kartana. Yeah, I think we want to fake out Kartana. I'm going to go Calm Mind with Finny on turn one, which could be a little bit risky. Um, the reason I want to fake out Kartana is I don't want it to Z Tailwind, um, giving it the critical hit boost and obviously the Tailwind boost, um, speed boost for his team. So if we fake out that, then you know we'll see how we get on. And we see the Latias does Mega Evolve, um, which could be pretty scary if it's a setup Latias, you know, Calm Mind, uh, substitute Calm Mind maybe then, um, you know, that's that's not going to be great. We do get a fake out off, we smack the Katana, it doesn't do any damage. Um, but, you know, if the Katana happened to be sashed at all, then, you know, that's fine, that's gone. And we see the Latias goes to the Tailwind, which is interesting, because that means that it's, well, 
it's doubtful that the Cortana is the, uh, you know, the Z Tailwind user. Could be Bloom Doom or something instead. Um, oh, I don't know what to do now then. I'm scared he's going to double up on Finny. You know, Leaf Blade and, like, um, Psychic or something. Uh, but we've got the berry, so let's just hope that we live that. Sure. <laughs> and uh, I clicked Moonblast on Latias there, but I do have Ice Punch for that as well. I'm going to Ice Punch the Kartana. Um, I'm not feeling confident about this. We see a Psy Shot come out from the Latias onto the Kangaskhan. Well, we'll be living that very well. And we see a Sacred Sword out onto the Kangaskhan as well, so our opponent's really scared of the Kanga. So Kangaskhan does drop. Kartana gets the Beast Boost as well, which is a bit of a um, you know, potential problem. But we do get to pop a Moonblast out into the Latias. Um, and after that Karmine Boost, it just bodies the Latias, even in its Mega Form. So that's always nice to get that out of the way. Uh, so what I'm thinking now as I go out into my Landorus, um, this gives us a chance to get the Intimidate off on the opponent's Kartana. Um, and that'll bring it back down to neutral, so it will negate that Beast Boost, which is... You know, something that's something that's very good for us. So it doesn't matter on the Finny at all, but it does matter for the Kartana. Um, and to be honest, I'm a little bit scared. I think I'm going to Moonblast the opposing Finny and hope that Landorus lives a turn so I can um, Z-move that Kartana and get that out of her. Obviously, our opponent does have the Tailwind up, so it's possible for both Mons to you know, kill the Landorus on this turn. And if they do, then I'm not too sure how we win from here. Maybe protecting would have been a good idea. We'll see a Leaf Blade out onto the Finny. We live that. We will pop our Berry. We barely live it on two. Um, but we do recover, you know, 50% of our HP. And see, the opposing Finny does go for a Calm Mind. Um, that's sort of okay, really. We do have a Katana in the back. Um you know, to smack that with some big damage a bit later on. If we can get some chip damage, say, with a Rock Slide on the next turn. Um, our Flaming Z here, I think, should KO the Kartana. Um, not 100% on that, but I feel like it should. I've got faith in Landorus. He just headbutts him out of the sky. <laughs> and is it enough for a kill? Yeah, okay, good. So we kill the Kartana... Um, we get a Moonblast off on the opponent's Finny. If we can get Special Attack decrease, that'll be great. But we don't, that's a shame. And our opponent's got a Tyranitar. So things are looking pretty good, really. Um, if we can stall out the Tailwind, then our Kartana can hit both of these Mons for super effective damage. And our opponent's only got one turn of Tailwind left. So what I'm thinking here is a double protect, just to stall that out. Um, now is that the best move to go for? Double protect gets rid of the tailwind. Landorus should outspeed on the next turn. Uh, what do we want to do? Earthquake could do good damage against the Tyranitar and the Finna, yeah. So I think I'm going to protect with just Finny, and then EQ with Landorus. Um, the plan here is to get some damage on the Finny and the Tyranitar. Um, and it keeps Finny around to, you know, stall out the Tailwind a bit. So we see a Rock Slide come out from Tyranitar. If we can dodge with Landorus, no. Okay, well if we flinch with Landorus, we're in trouble. Um, if we don't flinch, then... You know, we're ugh, muddy water from the Finny at plus one. This probably is enough to KO Landorus. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So that's unfortunate there. Uh, some sandstorm damage on both of the Finnies. Our Finny's a little bit worse for wear compared to the opponents, but Kartana can come in now. Um, we have got Focus Sash, so if we can outspeed and kill something... Um, you know, then we're looking good. So I think I'm going to click... So 
So it's a bit of a guessing game now because Leaf Blade should KO the Finny and Sacred Sword should KO the Kartana. So it's really a question of who we target with Finny on this turn. So I think what I'm going to do with Finny is click Muddy Water just to guarantee we get some damage off. And I'm going to go for a Sacred Sword onto the Tyranitar slot. Uh, the, plan the thinking there is that Sacred Sword should just KO. It's, you know, four times super effective. That'll give us the beast boost, and then we can Leaf Blade the Finny on the next turn. So we see that Sacred Sword does get the kill there, um, like we knew it would. We get the beast boost. The opponent Finny goes Muddy Water. Um, I think both mons are living this. Kartana takes it pretty badly. We do get the accuracy drop on Kartana, which is um, potentially huge. We do get the accuracy drop on the opponent Finny as well. Sandstorm doesn't bring it down into berry range, which is good. Um, and the mist disappears. So our wink on here is to just hit this leaf blade. If we miss this leaf blade, then we're in big trouble and we probably lose. Katana goes leaf blade, it does connect, so that's going to be a dead Finny. Um, yeah, man, that accuracy drop was pretty scary, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Um, so, fairly straightforward win against uh, George, not spelt right, <laughs> um, for our first battle of the day. Um, I feel fairly good about how we played that. Um, you know, the Kartana was able to just come in, had, it had the answers to the Tyranitar and the Finney. Um, it was a shame that we got doubled up on, on that Landorus in the turn, um, you know, where they went for Rock Slide and Muddy Water. If we'd have protected with Landorus there, we would have stalled out the Tailwind, like we were saying, and, you know, we could have maybe won with a bit more of a, um, sort of differential, like we could have maybe won, like, 3-0 three, three instead of 2-0 or something, but, um, and, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, Landorus going down there just meant that we could, um, you know, bring in Kartana and win from there, so it's not really a big deal, but, as I say, if we had protected, we'd have stalled out the Tailwind, um, then we could have done some damage with Landorus on the turn, you know, following that, and then brought Kartana in later on to, you know, finish things up. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of waffle. <laughs> in the end of the matter, we got the win, which is, uh, you know, all that's good. And we find ourselves a rating of 1660 for our next opponent, uh, all the way from Japan. Um, and they've got a pretty scary looking team of Charizard, Incineroar, Gastrodon, Tapilele, Kartana, and Porygon. Um, now, as usual, my default, you know, preference for this is to go with the Finny and Kangaskhan lead. I just feel like that really offers, um, you know, the, a really strong lead for this team, because the Kangaskhan offers the fake out pressure. The Finny, you know, say our opponent leads with their Lele to try and shut down our fake out. The Finny underspeeds and sets up its terrain, so I really like that. Um, he's not really got anything on his team that, apart from the Kartana, um, actually that'll body the Kangaskhan like we saw in the last game. But I think we're going to go with that. Um, obviously Landorus is looking very appealing with the Rock Slide to do some damage against the, um, the Charizard and the Incineroar actually. Um, Tyranitar does offer that as well, but the Landorus has got the Intimidate for the Incineroar and the Kartana, so I think we're going to go Lando. Um, and then again, I really like Kartana. It offers Leaf Blade for the Gastrodon, Smart Strike for the Lele, um, Sacred Sword for the Incineroar, Sacred Sword for the Porygon. Yeah, Kartana's just looking very strong there. Um, so I'm thinking the Porygon's going to be our opponent's um, Z-Move user. If we see that it's going to either go for the Normalium Z Hug Beam just for some huge damage. Um, or it could potentially set up with the Z Conversion. Uh, you know, get it boosts across the board. So it would be interesting to see if our opponent goes with that. And we see that our opponent does go out with the Porygon and Cineral combination. Now, I think Kangaskhan should outspeed the Incineroar, so I think we can get a fake out off against the Porygon. Um, so we're going to click that. We'll get a fake out on the Porygon. Um, 
And then I think we're just going to click... Well, Muddy Water's not going to do much to the Incineroar. And the Incineroar could just fake out the Finny, but I think he's going to want to target the Kangaskhan. Um, I'm sort of thinking turn one Calm Mind again for Finny. So that's what I've clicked. I'm instantly regretting it, because um, if the Incineroar does, you know, fake out the Kangaskhan, then we're in a bit of trouble there. We're basically giving the Porygon free reign to Z-move something. The Kangaskhan does that speed. Okay, good. We thought it did. So we smack the Porygon. We do, what, about 40% maybe? And we see the fake out from the Incineroar out onto the uh, Finny, so... Nothing's really happening on that turn, apart from some good damage on the Porygon. Um, I think I'm just going to click the turn and smack that Porygon for some damage. And I think we're going to try Calm Mind again with Finny. I think the Porygon's going to target down the Kangaskhan with the Z-move, but I don't want to swap something in on it. And Kangaskhan doesn't have Protect. So I think this might be another second turn where Kangaskhan just gets bodied. We don't see a Z-move from the Porygon, we just see straight up Hyper Beam. Which is interesting, because it means that the Porygon's, you know, useless on the next turn. We get Calm Mind off, and I don't think the Incineroar's really got much it can do to Finny. Um, the Incineroar I've got runs Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, and uh, Drain Punch, all of which are resisted by Finny. So we see a Flare Blitz, that doesn't bring us even, even below 50%. Um, and we know that the Porygon's, you know, uh, got to skip this next turn. So I think we're going to go Kartana, smack the Incineroar with a Sacred Sword, which should be super effective, I think. Um, and obviously with the Porygon... <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Let's Sacred Sword the Incineroar. Um, has he got anything that wants to come in on that? No, not really. Nothing that's not going to get outsped by Kartana on the next turn. Uh, you know, barring scarves or anything. So, let's just go Sacred Sword, and then I think we should just click Moonblast on the Porygon. I don't want to let it, uh, antivirus software, no. <laughs> go away. <laughs> um, so we see that the Kartana, um, doesn't kill the Incineroar. Ooh, no, that's not good. The Moonblast does kill the Porygon. Um, if the Incineroar goes Flare Blitz onto the, what I'm assuming is the Kartana, um, we have got Focus Sash, like we said, obviously. Um, so we'll live that, and the Incineroar will die to its own recoil. I'm really surprised Sacred Sword didn't kill. I didn't. <sighs> Incineroar's so bulky, man. Like, give it some bulk. Some uh, defense and HP EV investment, and it just becomes so you know, tough to take down. I normally run um, Assault Vest as the item. And we see that our opponent goes into their own Kartana. And Charizard. Well, our Kartana is plus one and speedy. So let's Sacred Sword their Kartana and hope that we win some sort of speed tie here. And then with our Finny. I think just Moonblast the Charizard. It's going to resist that now. We Muddy Water. The Charizard's going to Mega Evolve though, which is what I'm concerned about. Let's just click it anyway. It'll, um... Oh, I'm not feeling good about that. Well, it's Charizard X. So the Moonblast would have been a better option. Yeah, obviously because we've got the terrain up and it's not spread damage or anything. And we see our opponent, Kartano, does go first into the Finny, which I think we should... Oh, I was going to say, I think we should live, but we don't. There, Kartano gets a Beast Boost. Our Kartano goes Sacred Sword. Which doesn't do enough to KO the Kartano and the opposing... Oh, goes to the Dragon Dance. Um, now, this is fine, really, because we did bring Landorus in the back who can, uh, you know, use his Intimidate to bring both these guys down to neutral. But what we did see is that the... Well, the opponent Kart Kartana did outspeed, but I, my Kartana's max speed jolly. So, unless they're Scarfed, um, it was a speed tie. 
I don't think Scarf Cartana is really a thing. Oh, so how do we get around this? Okay, Cartana's going to smack their Cartana. And Landorus is going to go for the Z move on their Charizard. Their Charizard goes first, it's going to kill the Cartana. Mm. Earthquake would have been good. You think the knockoff doesn't remove the item because we do have the Z crystal? Earthquake there would have been really good. Oh man, yeah, it would have been. So, we get another game where Landris gets to headbutt something from the sky. Supersonic headbutt. <laughs> Snap joke. Um, is this enough to kill the Charizard? Oh, it is. Um, however, I think that a Leaf Blade from the opponent, Kartana, will just KO us. At this range, especially. So, I'm going to click Earthquake. Um, I think if I had clicked Earthquake on the previous turn, I don't really think it would have made a difference. Um, can we live? No, we don't live. Okay. Oh, it's a crit! Oh, that might have mattered! Oh, no. Okay, but what I'm thinking is Earthquake on the previous turn might have been better. Um, if we'd have protected with our Kartana and then Earthquake with our Landorus, it would have been super effective on the opposing Charizard. And it would have um, killed the opponent Kartana. Obviously, the Charizard targeted down the Kartana, so that would have been a null attack. And the knockoff from the Kartana didn't do anything to Landorus. So we would have then had two Mons against their last Mon, and we probably would have won from there. So Protect an Earthquake would have been our, our win to go for there, or the move to go for to win. Um, but I thought about it too late, um, which is a real shame. Um, but I still thought that was a good battle. As I say, that would have been what we should have done to win, but I don't think we played particularly badly. I think we just, yeah, we just lost. Um, them having the Tailwind up at the beginning of the game. Did they have Tailwind up at the beginning of that game? That was the previous game, I think, wasn't it? Don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like we played that last game badly, but you're obviously just not good enough to get the win, um, which is a bit of a shame, but... Yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe to keep up to date with all my future uploads. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the comments section.